Gus here with the parental review of Team Fortress 2, a hero shooter where players will compete across various maps and modes. We're going to talk about these points of concern, as well as these positive aspects. There are some in-game voice lines, but none that I have ever heard included profanity. Like most multiplayer games, this does include voice and text chat. Always be careful with especially young gamers using chat, as you'll never know what other people will say. Voice chat can be disabled through the settings, and there is an optional profanity filter for the text chat. In terms of blood and gore, player damage is visualized through blood effects on hit, and defeated enemies mostly explode in an even larger blood gore effect on death. Friendly fire is enabled for some game modes, but is penalized by the game. Sharing roots with Counter-Strike, there are a lot of similarities in microtransactions, so I'm going to focus on the differences here instead of a full breakdown. First to note is that some premium items do confer tangible in-game benefits to players. Next is that competitive matchmaking is not available to free players and must be purchased separately. There is a subtle way for users to add their own content to this game in the form of spray paint decals. This system allows players to upload images that they can then paint in the game world. This could allow young gamers to be exposed to pretty much any kind of imagery that can fit into the system. This can be disabled through the settings. We've talked about my points of concern, but I think there are some positives worth considering as well. If you feel like I've missed anything or you have anything you think other parents should know, please let me know down in the comments. As a primarily team-based shooter, teamwork and communication are critical to success. There is no romance in this game, nor is there any nudity. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in reviews for similar games, I'll link a playlist over here.